Good morning guys and welcome back to another video. Will here Orlando Beach Flight Attendant. Hope you're doing wonderful. Today we are starting a two day trip. It is 5.10 in the morning. My report time is at 6.15. I'm just finishing breakfast here and should be heading out in just a moment. Today we are flying on a 321. We have capacity for 230 passengers and we go to Cancun. Then we come back to Orlando and then we go to Islip, New York tonight. I'm gonna finish up my breakfast here. I'm eating some overnight oats and then We'll head over to the airport, start this studio trip, and see how it goes. to Cancun. It is 8.32. We start boarding at 8.36. Our flight time here was 1 hour and 36 minutes. All 87 passengers were sleeping, so we walked with our cart, but nobody wanted to purchase anything, so no service on this flight. Going back now to Orlando, our flight time is an hour and 36, and we have 88 passengers. So far, it's been good. I am hungry, so hopefully on this next flight, I can snack on a yogurt, and then it'll be time to work to New York, and we'll be done with today. We are on a new aircraft and we just finished doing all of our pre-flights. Now we are waiting to start boarding. And I am working on the back with Selena who's been Delighting us with a concert, I was yes. gonna say. Is that a word? Sure. She's been delighting us with a concert. <laughs> Hello, 3,000 subscribers. There you go. Last time we flew together was probably back in May, if I'm not mistaken. And so now we get to work in the back of the plane. We have about 158 people. I don't know exactly our flight time yet, but we should be on our way to New York shortly. And then we'll have a very short overnight. We might go for dinner. If I end up going to dinner with them, I'll bring you guys all. <laughs> I'll see you when we get to New York. Bye guys. I got Chipotle delivered to my room and I just finished eating. I honestly needed that time to just sit here in my room by myself watch tv and eat not use my phone not vlog we did three flights today and you probably know where i went and i might have given you the times the flight times for the other flights and the passenger count on this last flight i think we had maybe 138 passengers and our flight time was two hours and eight minutes but i think we had some reroutes along the way because of weather and it ended up being like 218 220 so many things happen not emergency or anything funny stuff that happened <laughs> but <laughs> i can't stop I feel I feel good I have energy I think I slept very good last night and even though I woke up at 3 in the morning today like I still have energy obviously I'm gonna start getting ready to go to bed soon because I, I really want to sleep at least six seven hours and tomorrow we have a long day too we have three flights and I'll tell you about tomorrow tomorrow but overall it was a good day my crew actually went out to dinner and I thought about joining them for a second, but I wanted to appreciate more my quiet time. And as a flight attendant, you will get to that point. I think there are, there are like three different faces. So the first face is like, you really want to go out. You are so excited to be on a layover. And even if it's 10 hours of rest, you're still going to go out or you're going to hang out with your crew. The second phase is where like you're starting to be more conscious about your layover time and you're kind of like giving up on going out because you want to appreciate your time in your room more. The third phase of, of this job is just becoming a slam clicker and you just go to your room, lock your door and you don't come out of your room until it's time for your van on the next day. I do feel like from time to time you will find what's right for you because um, I've definitely had overnights where you know the, the time is right, the crew is right and the amount of time in the layover is perfect and let's just go out and have a good time. But some other times you appreciate more your quiet time. I wanted to eat something less processed though I feel like Chipotle is somewhat good. 
compared to like a lot of these places. So I ended up just getting a bowl with chicken. I got rice, lettuce, a little bit of cheese, and then I got tomatoes in there. What I've been doing lately for these trips, I've been packing lunches that I know I'm gonna eat during during the day when I'm working because the majority of times I either go out with crews or I would order DoorDash or you know delivery so I am kind of balancing it out where I'm not like spending too much money on groceries just spending enough to bring lunches and then the remaining of the money that I'm using for deliveries and that way I'm not breaking the bank or going over my budget because I do have a budget for every month to spend all my overs and that way you know I don't have to touch the remaining of my money that's pretty much what I got for you so I'll talk to you guys in a little bit if not I'll see you tomorrow morning for day two of this two-day trip good morning and welcome to day two it is 3 46 in the morning I have to be downstairs at 4 7 but I'm honestly trying to get out of here in the next five minutes or so so hopefully I'm done getting ready by then I just got out of the shower so I just had to throw in my uniform and call it a day oh, last night was awful I barely slept I think I woke up around well, I guess I woke up multiple times, like almost every two hours. But the first time I woke up, I went to bed finally at 8 p.m. And around 8.45, I woke up. So I was very disappointed. I turned around and I, you know, tried to fall asleep again. Then I get up again or wake up again around 10, 10, I don't know, 10, 15 maybe. Then again at 12.25, then I remember being like two, and then at like 3.05, my alarm finally went off. And I was like, oh my God. So I don't think I am well rested. I just want today to be over. I'm not gonna think about it too much because it's only gonna like make my day longer. I'm not gonna think about my night too much. I was gonna have breakfast here, but I don't think I'll have time. I have some overnight oats, I'll go ahead and uh, eat those after I'm done with, you know, all my duties on my first flight. I drank a lot of water this morning, so that's good, staying hydrated. I've been trying to drink a lot of water when I get up, like as soon as I wake up. And then um, I was gonna make some coffee here, but that coffee machine is nasty. We have a Keurig here. I took a peek at the filter even if I try to like run it once with hot water, there's no, there's no way. There's that. <laughs> no coffee for me this morning. There is a Dunkin' right next to my gate, but time is gonna be too tight. Unless the captain says, do y'all want anything? Then it's a whole different story. I go ahead and finish up getting ready here, guys. And I am going to see you throughout the day at work obviously when we're not working on my sits and today is going to be a great day even though i didn't have a great night putting it out there and uh yeah let's go to work and see how today goes i thought i put it out there that today was going to be a good day what happened this is my pineapple mango salsa guys for my lunch today Oh man, what's going on? It is like 90 degrees out here in this hall. Who has a heater on? My room was in 65 and I didn't think it was cold enough. What? Okay, let's go to work now. I already finished doing all of my security checks and we have about 10 more minutes before we start boarding so I'm just gonna set up the top of the cart there isn't you know anything major or crazy that we have to do this other than set up the ice and make sure that we have all the condiments for coffee and tea and then we're just gonna work this flight to Orlando the flight time is going to be two hours and 29 minutes and when we get to Orlando we lose our pilots we get new pilots and then we also have to change aircrafts I think we're going on a 321 Neo for that one we still have another uh, 10 minutes before we start boarding so gonna go ahead and do this there isn't really a time where we have to get this done by but since I have time I rather just set it up now let's just hope that this flight goes by quick and I'll see you when we get to Orlando
my checks are done, I did the top of the cart for our service later. I also did eat my breakfast and I swapped aircrafts. I was able to stop and get a sandwich real quick. And now we still have like eight more minutes before we start boarding. So I'm just gonna relax here and then wait for everyone to get on board. If you've flown with my airline before, you know what normally those seats and tray tables look like, but this is a brand new aircraft. And so our newer aircrafts do come with a different tray table size. And you can also uh, move it closer to you. It has this latch over here. And there's also more uh, space in between the seats. Welcome to the same day, an hour and 35 minutes later, I'm here at the apartment. If you're wondering what I do after I get back from a trip, today is your chance. Just got out of the shower and my next step here is actually get everything out of my lunchbox and do dishes. After I finish doing dishes, my next step is to pack my uh, turn back because tomorrow I have a Santo Domingo turn at 6.30 in the morning. If I didn't have to work the next day, then my routine would look a little bit different. But um, today, because I have to work tomorrow, I am going to transfer my stuff to my turn back and I will most likely try to cook dinner and do that at the same time my last flight went well i don't remember if i talked to you guys when i was in orlando going to baltimore or if i talked to you guys in baltimore coming back to orlando but our last flight was one hour 51 minutes we had 240 passengers three infants and service was super busy getting into the orlando area was super bumpy there was a bit of weather but nothing major nothing crazy uh and you know the the flights were okay overall good crew good trip very productive trip tomorrow i have that turn and after this turn I should be done for the rest of the month and then we'll start a whole new schedule for October at some point I'll share that with you guys I feel like I have not shared my schedule with you guys recently however I changed my schedule so much that I don't want to confuse you more than uh, you probably already are so uh, but yeah overall it was a good trip I had a good time even though I didn't have time to really do anything in New York but if you enjoy coming to this two-day trip with me go ahead and smash that like button also don't forget to subscribe and I am going to see you next Sunday at 9 p.m. for another flight and a video. Take care.